Hello and welcome to our uh, virtual event for Agriculture and Animal Care. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this evening, um, our HE provision at ESC. So uh, what will happen is you'll be given a short presentation on the land-based department um, and an introduction into the higher education courses that we have on offer within the School of Land-Based and Sport. On the left, on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a Q&A box or a Q&A section, uh, which is live and moderated very kindly by Jesse Ingleson this evening. And this section then is available for you to ask any questions should you have any throughout the presentation. Keep an eye though for our important links that we'll post in the Q&A section, uh, where we'll, we'll give you a link to apply online should you wish to do that, and also an opportunity to undertake a virtual tour of the facilities that we have on offer at the campus. So without further ado, let's make a little start on the presentation itself. So before we begin then, I've talked to you a little bit about the live q and I've talked about the fact that you'll have the opportunity to apply online. Course structures, full-time courses, tend to happen around two to three days per week, allowing you to undertake work commitments alongside that. However, what we do recommend is that a full time course takes around five days worth of work each week. So it's just worth considering um, your commitments throughout the week too. And you'll also have the opportunity to undertake a virtual tour of the campus and have a little look at the facilities that we've got on offer to complement the course. So a little bit about what we offer then. So we offer uh, we offer an FE and HE provision. So the FE open event is on April the 28th. So if you want to have a little look at that, please do. But what we're going to have a little look at is higher education to predominantly looking at foundation degrees and BSc Honours top-up degrees. And we're very fortunate within the land-based uh, school to have three pathways all running from foundation degree level four and five through to BSc level six. And those three areas are animal health and welfare, equine studies and veterinary nursing. So uh, we also offer, as you can see on the screen, a level two vet care assistant or veterinary care assistant and a level three veterinary nursing programme, uh, which is our employment routes um, and those qualifications are run out in industry. Foundation degree, two years duration, BSc honours, one year duration in terms of how long you will take you to complete the course. So like I said, the course structure, two to three days per week, a foundation degree uh, is two year, it's a two year course. However, the foundation degree in veterinary nursing runs over three years as year three is an industry year. So you will spend a year out in industry within a veterinary practice. BSc uh, honours year is a top up year and that's a one year programme. And we're very fortunate at us to work in partnerships, we uh, work in credible partnerships with uh, local universities. So we work with University of South Wales for our partnership with veterinary nursing and animal health and welfare. And we also run uh, as a franchise pro provider um, of Avarus with University. We also work in conjunction with the RCVS in order to allow our uh, veterinary nursing students to become registered veterinary nurses at the end of their foundation degree programme. On the right hand side you can see a nice picturesque image of the headquarters at ESC, of our learning centre, our canteen and the inside of the canteen which has been newly refurbished over the last couple of years. So with regards then to meeting the team, so you, uh, the head of school, so Lam head of school land based and sport is Helen Morgan. Um, and Mitchell Rees, uh, who is myself, um, I am the manager of land-based facilities and functional resources. 
So my role then, I look after animal care, equine, um, the farm and the gym. So all of the functional area areas within the school of lamb based. So who will be teaching you then on these courses? So we've got a fantastically experienced team um, of, you know, of very well qualified staff. Um, so I've broken it down then into the three different areas. So on the first line, we've got uh, Kate Bevan, Maria Oakley, Jesse Ingleson and Sasha Tyler. Um, and these guys teach as part of the animal health and welfare team. So Kate Bevan has recently been awarded an MBE, which we're very proud of. Uh, Kate has also got an MSc, a BSc, and also is a senior fellow of the Higher Education Association. Maria Oakley uh, is a registered veterinary nurse and is a member of the British Bat Society. Jessie Ingleson uh, has a BSc honours in zoology, has, has been a zookeeper in North Wales previously, but um, her position here, her positions here rather, uh, range from a lecturer um, through to our animal centre coordinator, looking after all of our resident animals at the animal centre. We've also got Sasha Tyler, who is our newest recruit to our HE teaching team. Um, and Sasha specialises in animal behaviour and is uh, also holds a BSc Honours degree. The equine team, we've got Harriet Hoffrock, Beth and Lewis and myself. Uh, so Harriet uh, holds a BSc Honours degree. It's a British Horse Society AI instructor, a fellow of the Higher Education Association and has previously managed uh, an equine therapy centre. So brings with her an array of different experiences to her teaching. Beth and Lewis is a senior fellow of the Higher Education Association, uh, British Horse Society intermediate stable manager. Um, and also holds a BSc Honours and a Postgraduate Diploma in a Veterinary Pharmacy. We've also then got myself, I've got a BSc Honours and I've also got a, a BHS AI Instructor qualification too. Our vet nursing team are, uh, exper you know, are very qualified. Um, they uh, have sort of a lot of our, a proportion of our veterinary nursing team still work out in industry so work part-time as a lecturer and also part-time as a veterinary nurse which uh you know is hugely influential within their teaching bringing and bridging that gap between uh, industry and education so we've got Rhiannon Stunden who um, is a registered veterinary nurse um, is program leader to our veterinary nursing programs is a senior fellow of the higher education association holds a postgraduate diploma in veterinary education and is currently studying for a master's degree. We've also got uh, Rachel Perry, RVN, uh, who is an advanced nursing, who holds an advanced nursing diploma. We've got Katie Davis, who works at a busy referral centre and holds the emergency critical care certificate. We've got Amanda Curtis, who uh, also works for a busy veterinary hospital um, and works with the BVNA. And we also have Rian Jones, who alongside teaching for us, works for an exotic referral specialist too. So as I'm sure you'll agree, we have a, a range of different experiences and quali qualifications in order to maximise your teaching and learning experience uh, as part of your higher education course. So with regards to the facilities that we have on offer, so we have an animal care centre, uh, which is run by Jesse Ingleson. Um, so we've got, as part of our centre, we've got a small mammal room, we've got a reptile and amphibian room, we've got an outside area, and we've also got hoof stock. Um, so within our small mammal room, uh, we've got sugar gliders, hamsters, mice, dagoos, and chinchillas, just to name a few. Um, within the reptile and amphibian room, we've got a 12 foot boa constrictor, a savannah bosque monitor, tree frogs, tarantulas, scorpions. Again, just to name a few, really, the list goes on. Uh, our outside area, we've got our commonly domesticated animals. So we've got ferrets, rabbits, guinea pigs, aviaries, um, housing a variety of different birds, uh, some chickens out there as well. 
and our hoofed stock consists of two donkeys from the donkey sanctuary, Bill and Ben. We've also got a Blue Cross rehoming centre, housing stray and unwanted cats which are looking for new homes. Our learners get up to an array of different things really um, as part of our animal health and welfare degree as well as engaging with the animal care centre. Um, they also take part in various field trips um, like the one in the top two pictures um, undertaking habitat surveys and wildlife counts down at uh, Pem down on the Pembrokeshire coast and also engage with farming activity as part of animal husbandry as part of their practical module there. They also undertake, as part of your animal health and welfare degree, you'll also undertake modules such as uh, animal behaviour, animal nutrition, veterinary science, uh, animal husbandry, study skills and conservation. And there's also modules surrounding breeding and breeding and genetics too. The next department that we're after then is equine, the equine studies or the equestrian centre uh, run very well by our equestrian centre coordinator Samantha Wall. We've got a 16 stable equine yard, uh, we're a BHS approved centre and also a, a BHS approved training centre offering examinations between one and four, one of only, uh, only a few centres uh, in Wales able to train and offer the examinations up to BHS stage four. We've also got a brand new outdoor arena that has been currently renovated with a brand new surface and we've also got a cross-country schooling area and an indoor arena too. In our recent uh, BHS uh, inspection we received highly commended status which is something that we're massively proud of and we encourage learners to get involved with our on-site competitions and events. You're also able to bring your horse to college should you wish to do so. Um, and that is something uh, that is able to be discussed at interview or if you would like to email myself um, and I will just ask the moderator to pop my email address in to the Q&A box. So as part then of uh, the education, higher education equine studies, we run, like I mentioned, as a franchise with Aberystwyth University and we run a foundation degree and we will start the top up, BSE top up uh, honours degree in uh, September of this year. So the two, uh, we, are, we take learners up to Aberystwyth several times throughout their programme, which is a, you know, a fantastic experience to go to the university itself. Um, and as you can see uh, on the top two pictures, we've got um, a Gillian Higgins demonstration for horses inside out in the top left. And we've also got uh, we've also got a laboratory nutrition practical on the right hand top, uh, the top on the right hand side. As part of the course, you'll also have the opportunity to undertake various field trips, which will include a study tour which is normally done at Newmarket, which is fantastic, and also the opportunity to visit various yards as part of your business management modules. You'll also be able to get involved with the running of equine events as part of event management. So I'm now going to hand you over to uh, Rhiannon Stunden, who is um, our programme lead for veterinary nursing and our figurehead of the uh, veterinary nursing provision. Um, so Rhiannon, I'm going to hand over to you to talk a little bit about our veterinary nursing centre and the courses that we offer. Thanks very much Mitch. So um, we have a purpose-built veterinary nursing centre that has um, mock veterinary practice within it and it enables us to provide you with uh, realistic practical sessions and we can also um, provide you with the opportunity to train for and take your final uh, practical examinations at the end of your qualification which will lead you on to being able to register as a fully qualified veterinary nurse with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. So the centre is really um, exciting place to be and to um, carry out your studies in. We've got a fully equipped laboratory. 
We've got a mock radiography room with endoscopy as well. And we have a theatre, an anaesthesia suite. And we also have um, fully equipped uh, uh, the stations for things like bandaging, giving medication and working in a pharmacy. So that's the practical elements that's taken care of. We have lots of um, theory to work through and our lectures are spaced throughout the week into three days. And that we have a range of uh, different techniques that we like to, to use to keep um, you fresh and also to um, make sure that you are engaged with the learning material. So we're very, uh, very big on making sure that a digital learning is embedded into your experience and we have excellent Wi-Fi throughout the campus and um, that's a really big part of our provision for you to make sure that you will um, be able to um, engage with your learning materials and give you the best chance of succeeding in your examinations. Uh, our first year is quite exciting. We do um, we range from topics such as um, husbandry and health, anatomy and physiology, animal behaviour, pharmacy. We do infection control and um, even things like professional uh, preparing ourselves for um, being part of a profession and we have a range of assessments and activities that, that run through that first year. Then after that first year you have a well-earned summer break and then come back in the second year and we have um, really exciting topics like diagnostic imaging, anaesthesia, theatre practice, emergency critical care, um, and we work throughout with a range of species, all in the companion care remit. So that's cats and dogs, all the small furries and exotics as well. Um, then at the end of your second year, you go out into practice for a full year. Um, so we place you in a small animal veterinary practice where you'll work full time for a full year. And you have an absolutely amazing time working alongside fantastic vets and nurses within a practice working towards your, um, your nursing progress log and preparing yourself for your final practical examinations. And uh, you then come back to us at the end of the third year to do some um, theory and some pr practical um, lessons uh, where you will do your final assessments and prepare yourself for your final exam. And then after that, you have your foundation degree and um, you can then uh, apply to the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons to join the register. They will invite you and then you're, you are a qualified veterinary nurse. And many of our foundation degree graduates who, who then go on to the register, they then come back to us to do their final year, which is their fourth year with us, for the BSE top up in veterinary nursing. This is an opportunity to undertake a research project of your choice. Um, so you can do something exciting that perhaps you're seeing in practice that you want to investigate or you want to study. Um, and then you do a final research project, a dissertation, and then you come out with a full BSc Honours in Veterinary Nursing. So we've got a full uh, range uh, of uh, levels to take you through on your veterinary nursing journey. And we have a great uh, teaching team as well, really enthusiastic, very experienced and very well qualified. And as Mitch said previously, um, a lot of our team is still out in industry as well. So the knowledge is really current and they've got some fantastic um, skills and um, knowledge to share with you. Um, so the um, only other thing that we might want to think about when you, you're preparing for this course is to just make sure that you do um, clear your schedule. I think Mitch mentioned earlier on that even though we have our uh, provision spread across three days, it really is a full time course. You need to think about um, for dedicating for a minimum of 40 hours a week to the veterinary nursing foundation degree. So have a think about how you're going to fit all that in. Um, so if you are thinking of working on for two days in the week, you're going to have to 
spend your weekend working on your co uh, on your university work as well. So that's really important to factor in and not to overstretch yourself because it is quite challenging, but very interesting. And employability at the end of it is very high. There is a national shortage of registered veterinary nurses and um, you won't struggle to get um, employment in a veterinary practice once you've qualified. So it's a really great career um, to be going into. OK, so I don't think I have uh, anything else to add to that, so I shall hand you back to Mitch. That's great. Thanks, Fiannon. So I hope that's given you uh, an overview of all the courses that we have uh, on offer a desk and some of the fantastic resources that we have available in order to complement your uh, to complement the teaching. So I don't believe there is anyone uh, there is anyone left in in the room. So um, we will uh, on that note we will thank you all for for joining and we will beyond just in the chat box for the next couple of minutes to see whether there's any questions coming through. Um, and if, if you do think of any questions, then please do, uh, please do in the first instance, obviously uh, go via the website and have a little look to see whether your question is answered there. And if not, please do get in contact with one of our student recruitment uh, team.